Hello, our dear viewers. Welcome back to the Digital Talk Show. We hope we can always present our best in the information technology. Now, of course, we have our colleague with us, Mr. Faisal Rajab. I would like to welcome Faisal. How are you, Faisal? Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Omar. I'm very good. Yes. Uh, we have also the Dr. Mohammed. I think he has a segment. But let us start with you first. Okay. And then uh, we'll see. What do you have for okay. us? Okay. Basically, I'm going to talk about something I'm sure you like very much, yeah. uh, the um, hologram. Yes. Uh, we all know that uh, we are eager to see hologram develop and, and um, according to my research, I want to see more of hologram, but unfortunately, it's according to my research, it's been difficult. But I'll tell you uh, a little, it's been t difficult to develop it, but um, what I understood is a lot of people get confused between 3D images and hologram, and yeah. I thought maybe I'll, you know, I'll, I'll tell you uh, a couple of things I know that makes them different. Mm -hmm. First of all, hologram is basically not an image, like, like the um, a 3D, uh, 3D image screen where you create where they create several images and with the with the glasses you combine them with your mind you focus on one point and it comes together and it creates almost a fake 3D image illusion but, illusion mm -hmm. there we go but with the hologram it actually creates that's what's great about it it creates that module of 3D right in front of you so just like I'm watching this um, or I'm looking at this uh, phone and 3D in real life that's what it tries to do exactly in, in real life so it builds a structure wow. that's what's great about it and the one thing that it has uh, and it makes it more difficult to de develop is that it has laser in it and that's what the screens uh, hologram has laser in it laser yes. yes it has laser beams and that's why it's it's a little more difficult to develop than than uh, 3d images it's basically laser interference and something called diffraction these three are combined combined to create to a module or a profile exactly like what you see in real life but of course not exactly like the same colors and that's what they're trying to work on actually uh, you can, they can produce things in laser color which is the green but not the image that we think we can see with 3D images, like uh, the very colorful one, they haven't developed that yet. Because there is a diffraction, I think. There is a make the color changes a little bit. Of course, and that, that needs a lot of um, money to develop in it, and it's very expensive, and um, 3D uh, screens are taking over that, and that's why they're not developing that much. But this is my opinion. I'm going to say th something about it. I don't know if you're going to agree. Watching a 3D movie actually puts strain on your on your mind because you're you're trying to focus on one point there's several images so after watching a movie you you kind of feel a little a little strained as a <laughs> you know what i mean as, as opposed to watching a hologram image you reminded me princess leia Wh from star Wars. exactly okay uh, of course i'm gonna bring that up i have actually the video mm -hmm. that's the first time we saw uh maybe we should jump into that um, yes yes let us see them if Please, you can, on if my you, screen yes on your screen if you show video number one i believe it is Yes. Uh, uh, the, that's the, the first time we saw a hologram, uh -huh. uh, a hologram image on a movie. Of course, it wasn't really hologram. It was just, um, uh, uh, let's say, uh, produced uh, on video. Yeah. Can, it wasn't we see, really can, hologram. can we see this again, Dr. Mohammed? Yeah, it's yeah, actually a course. short scene. So here it comes, Princess Leia. Yes. Uh, and the first time we saw this on TV uh, or on, on the cinema, we thought this was amazing. How can this something be? Of course, it wasn't really like, um, there, there wasn't something that um, professional, professional just like that. But let's show uh, uh, video number two, and I'll show you something that uh, um, this news channel is doing. The, the, the lady you see on the right is not there. She's completely hologram. Really? And she's reporting. This is this is what the reporter is seeing. This is not. Uh, this is actually in the studio. If you see around where she's, she's not there, she's not there. If she's you see, not inside the studio. She's no. there and not there. And that's exactly. What well, you can't see that right now, but she's surrounded by beams, laser beams, and it's projecting to the uh, reporter as they are real. As if he can see her there. This is Larry King or not Larry? This is uh, Wolf, I, yes. I believe. Yeah. So. Um, it's, it's amazing how from uh, in the 70s, we actually now have, have hologram. She, are in, she is in Chicago, it says. Yes. I think yes. the studio somewhere in New York, perhaps, yes. or somewhere. 
And she basically... And, uh, you listen, the distance is some five meters just yes, apart. because they have to have these beamers around her. Yes. So basically it came... Uh, it came the, 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 um, but technology. she's millions, she is millions of miles away. Miles away she's she's yes, completely yes. somewhere else. This was about the elections few years thousands, ago. Thousands, thousands. Yes. Don't <laughs> there's, there's no millions. Millions. No, another planet. Must maybe. be in another planet. Who, is, who, said, who said million? Fifty plus. <laughs> Fifty plus. Fifty plus. <laughs> 50 plus. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know, do we have time to go into the history or do you want to move into A little bit, a little I'll bit of I'll the history, I'll tell, yes, you, yes. I'll tell you what's funny about the history. Hologram is completely developed by accident. It wasn't supposed to be there. It was developed by a person who was trying to do a, uh, something called electron micro microscopy, which actually is a, a technique that helped uh, into the field of X-ray. Mm -hmm. But during his research, he created something called the electron holography, which was in the 40s, uh, and he won the uh, he won the Nobel Prize for it in 1971. But Who is he? Who is he? His name is Dennis Gaber, a British. Um, uh, uh, scientist uh, in, in physics. Mm. He won the uh, awards, uh, uh, Nobel uh, uh, Prize for his his research into that. But of course, in the 40s, he, he developed the, the method, but there was no uh, hologram because there was no laser in the 40s. It was in the 60s that uh, a person by the name of Yori Densiak uh, from uh, Soviet Union, mm. in 1962, he developed the first 3D optical um, hologram after the development of laser. So that's nice. a little bit of nice. history for you. <laughs> yeah. It was very interesting, you see. Mm. By accident, mm. they yes. come yes. to develop such. Sometimes, uh, always, it's like that apple which uh, fell down. Exactly. And exactly. to produce the best exactly. uh, theory yeah, yeah. and equations. But to think how, how complicated and, and the, the method is, it was also an, uh, an accident. Yes, not, yes. Um, so I never worked out this equation. Please remind me. E equal M C square. Yes. That was the equation for the apple. Well, this is the gravity. There is also gravity. Uh -huh. The G, nine point eight uh, something. You right, see. right, right, right. There is a factor very important, and he developed this. Why this come down? Mm. There must be a gravity. The gravity factor was very important in solving so many things. Wow. When you want to go to air or to sky, to, to you have moon. to take this into. He calculated. Of course, there was masses of equations to put this factor to come out and it was just uh, savior for mankind to be able to do to of course uh, travel on exactly. in the air and the fly because there is the a gravity yes. yes and this is of course uh, to certain limit and then of course uh, you that lose that's what made your water engine quite fascinating yes remember yes yes flying on so, there. so so what, what happens when you lose your data i will be very upset please sad I don't like to talk to many I people. I believe that something happened to you today. Some similar to yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, please permission. share it with the viewer. <laughs> I was preparing for from last night, yes. <laughs> I prepared all the shows and uh, this, you know this uh, vehicle and which is unmanned. Right. Goes to the park, car park. Yes. Goes, stop, come back without any drive, uh, driver, you see. Amazing. I was one of these things. I prepared last night, I was, you see, late at night, you see, our dear viewers do deserve uh, being uh, prepared. You work for hard them. for them. Yes, yes. Somebody visited me today in the office. Okay. While I was finishing the, some uh, some uh, news. Touches, touches, final uh, yeah, touches. Final touches to the show. Yes. Believe me, I don't know what happened. He left from my room and <laughs> then the office and then this, everything was in a mess. Oh my God. I didn't do anything. Oh my God. This is like my baby. <laughs> do you think his hologram effect? <laughs> yeah. I think his, uh, there, his are, energy. there are some beams, beams. Fr from the eyes. From the eyes. Yes, this envy eyes, they call them. Oh my God. When they look at you like this, if That's you it. can walk, you are very lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Good job it hit my <laughs> computer. Yeah. Oh. It's like I believe you. I these believe laptops you. nowadays like one of your kids. Anyway. So let me yeah. tell you the solution. What happens when Please you lose your data? give me the solution, yes. I put harmal. It didn't help. It anyway. didn't work, huh? <laughs> what you need, my dear Anwar, is I drive. I drive. Here yeah, is, yeah, please, yeah. on my screen, yes. losing your data. Sometimes things happen. Sometimes. And Yes. And you lose your data from mm -hmm. your device, your computer, your iPhone. What happens? Hardware, malfunction, software, failure, etc. There is contacts, pictures, video, all lost, Dr. Amor. Just like what happened to you today. Yes, very what sad. What do you do? Yes. Solution, backup 
unlimited PCs, Macs, iPhones, iPads, everything. You need to back up. Back up mm. your data, mm. just in case. Huh? One solution is the iDrive. Mm. It runs on multiple uh, architectures, Plat platform, platforms, yes. and it runs on the cloud as well. Yes. So you can save your data on the cloud. Why not? Uh, online backup is very useful. Everybody's yes. talking about it these days. It costs very little, five gigabyte free, a lot of information. Hmm. It's compliant with a lot of security measures. Whatever you store on the iDrive is highly secured. Nobody can intervene with interoperability. Here are the different architectures. You can run and share your data on all these machines and operating system. Pricing is very, uh, uh, very cheap. Uh, cheap, normal. And a lot of backup technology is there. A lot of options for you. How to backup your data, when to backup your data. So the solution to you is called iDrive. I think this is a very good solution, Dr. Thank Muhammad. You. Thank I you. think this is very nice. I think next time I will take care of this. Put my contacts. The last time you told us how to put our contacts yeah. on the clouds. Did you try to put some salt in his coffee? Which there one? There is another solution. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For yeah. That, that guy with the eye beams. Yes, the hot eyes. Yes. Yes. Put some salt in his coffee. <laughs> then he will not drink it. Well, you he will test it and then he will not. What, you, need, you mean even testing it will solve the problem? Very good. <laughs> <laughs> he got it finally. <laughs> yes. so I will do one thing. It's the coffee, I'm sure. Yes, the coffee. <laughs> I, I can't think of it. Yes. I have some uh, liquids, you see. <laughs> no, anyway, you mentioned just now, uh, Dr. Mohammed, how many pictures? Uh, Instagram? Uh, Instagram. The users of Instag uh, Instagram post 40 million pictures per day. 40 million pictures. Per day. That is not text. No, it's images. Images. Just imagine, as you mentioned rightly, how can they store it? I think with the Terra, like uh, millions now yes. of bytes you can store on them. Yes. With this... Uh, SSD drives. Ah, these uh, as it very easily petabytes. Yes, I think these technologies can save a lot of money for them. Of course, many people will ask why they do this, for example. But of course, there is like Google. Google invented this search engine. Now you know what they make of this ads. Of course, billions, billions, and billions. And billions. How much do you think Instagram company worth nowadays? I'm sure it was not less than uh, well, half a trillion or so. Just an idea, storing mm -hmm. people's pictures online. They share yeah. their pictures to, with their beloved. That's why, sorry, that's why Facebook jumped and uh, the Facebook owner jumped and bought the company. Bought the so company, it's, yes. yes. They, they already bought it, yes. Already yes, yes. bought it because it was almost going to um, kill the idea of Facebook because it was really taking over Facebook. Facebook is about chat, like, um, what am I doing now uh, by, by text? Mm. And Instagram took it and made what uh, people usually write by photo. So mm. it took the same idea, but it made it more exciting. And Facebook made sure to buy it or else it would have <laughs> killed Facebook. <laughs> they would lose the market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. Even there was a competition between Twitter and Facebook, you see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think uh, also Twitter uh, had uh, this idea of not uploading the pictures, but extended the 140 characters, characters messages. Yes, uh, now you can put pictures, you can yes, put video videos, on your tweet. Longer tweets, of you course, see. Of course, you have to survive the competition. But uh, just Anwar. imagine the social networking, how big the market is. Mm. You can use it. When you say 40 million pictures, I think you can sell. You can make a good business yeah. out of yeah, this. Yeah. You can make good community, good followers, mm. you see. I don't know. So many people say, like, put like, put like. Yes, yes. Now those new do you, words. Do you like? Do you like or you do like? And you know what's <laughs> funny? Every photo you post is, is not your right anymore. It becomes Instagrams and Facebooks. So they have the right to do it. If you delete it, they still have it. Of That's course. It. Your of photo is their photo now. Exactly. This is their, like a copyright. It's, you might think it is yours. Yeah. It's not. They can make business, uh, they can make, uh, like you said, they can make uh, an art show out of it and you don't get a they penny. They can utilize it, they can modify it, photo edit it. No, but they cannot sell it. They said at the beginning, a few weeks ago, 
we will sell it. We have the right to, but then they oh, change they, they the I think we have come to an end. Thank you very much, Mr. Faisal. Thank Faisal. you, Dr. I think Anwar. you have very nice uh, tie tonight. Uh, okay. So he's the 20 I, plus. I, I, yeah, he's the 20 I, plus. You I, are the 50 plus. Oh, thank you. I knew you were going to, uh, to, to say something <laughs> about the tie. Yes. <laughs> you look smarter <laughs> with this uh, tie. Thank you. Anyway, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Mohammed. Thank, thank you very much, everybody in the studio. Thank you very much, everybody in the control room. At the end, please, our dear viewers, keep this good smile on your face. And if you are asked why, just tell them that you have just finished watching your favorite show. That is the Digital Talk Show. Good night.